Students, so uh, discussion complete karenge about analog to analog conversion techniques. We went through three different techniques. The first one was amplitude modulation. Then we had frequency modulation. And now we're going to talk about the phase modulation. Students, so phase modulation, ya PM jo technique hai, this is the third one of our analog to analog conversion techniques. In this case, the phase of the carrier signal is modulated to follow the changing voltage level or the amplitude of the modulating signal. So, it's amplitude and frequency remain constant, whereas the phase changes in this particular case. So, it's once again, what you can see on this slide is you have got a modulating signal, once again, audio. Then you have got a VCO produced frequency, carrier frequency, and then you have got a phase modulated signal, students. Students, as the amplitude of the information signal changes, the phase of the carrier changes correspondingly. So, with the change in amplitude, you have got constant change in phases of this PM signal. Amplitude remains the same, uh, frequency remains the same as well. Students, in this particular case, as represented by the lower right-hand figure, your bandwidth is equal to Two into one plus beta multiplied by b. Students, so in this particular case, though, the beta value of beta it can be different from what we had in the case of frequency modulation. The beta can be one for narrowband communication, and the beta can be three for your wideband communication. Students, this was our third technique, the phase modulation. The three techniques that we have gone through are for analog to analog conversion. They are amplitude modulation, frequency modulation, and phase modulation. Students, this concludes our discussion of analog transmission. Hum logo ne, uh, physical layer ki discussion mein, the, we have gone through two different cases. The first one was digital transmission, where we studied two distinct uh, parts to it. And the first part was uh, when we had analog data and we need to convert it to digital data for transmitting it as a digital signal. Before that, we went through digital data to digital signal conversion as well. So, just after that, we studied analog transmission. And analog transmission, the first uh, part, part to it was the digital to analog transmission. We studied different techniques, FSK, ASK, FSK, PSK, and QAM that we use to convert digital data into analog signal. And then in the last students, we have also covered the analog to analog transmission by covering the three techniques, AM, um, FM, and PM.